leaving Fort Stevens here right on the Columbia River. But yeah, this is a huge campground. They have multiple loops. It's easy to get lost, but uh, worked out for us. Low cost, if noisy, bring your earplugs. Okay, we just left Seaside after having a nice breakfast, ham and eggs, hash browns toast. Tasted good, coffee with cream in it. And now we're back on 101, heading towards Cannon Beach. we just came through our first tunnel and it was noisy and it was uphill so quite tiring well 40 miles in today we are here at the New Halen Bay New Halen Bay something like that state park So I've slept two nights on this new air mattress that I got. That's uh, kind of funky compared to the Nemo one I had. It's got just a bunch of weight reducing structure so there's not a whole bunch of solid support. But it's not too bad. The main problem is it's just not wide enough for me. And uh, the length's not bad. I don't really care about my feet sticking off the end. but. Yeah, but what can I say? My Nemo got shipped back home. I'm going to see if it's still under warranty. And this will work for now. We are just leaving New Halen Bay, New Halen Bay State Park. It is 10 minutes to 7 and we're hitting the road. And that's the best time because no wind, no traffic. Lookout State Park after a uh, rather tiring ride against a headwind. We hung out in Tillamook for about three hours having lunch with a friend who lives somewhat nearby and then we waited too long. The afternoon wind picked up but we're here now and the campground looks pretty darn nice.
we are just getting ready to leave Cape Lookout State Park here in Oregon. The sounds of the waves lulling us to sleep was not too bad at all. The coolest morning, heading to Devil's Lake. Well, only a mile and a quarter in, and we're pushing. Yeah, that was a heck of a workout. Great way to start the day, right? Three miles? What was that, like a three mile hill? We've been riding about two hours and just getting into a town here. I think this is Pacific Center or Pacific City. Anyhow, we're looking for a place to get a good breakfast as we have no food on us at the moment. We got some breakfast to go there back in Pacific City. I ate my breakfast on the guardrail. Oh, look at these guys, they're flying. This road versus this road. Mm. Yep, this is the way the Adventure Cycling Association route goes. And Google says take 101 over here, which is shorter, but got a major steep hill and lots of traffic. So we're going to take the ACA route. Right? Right. Cuss them out later. Pedaled about 43 miles today. Ended up here in Lincoln City at the Devil's Lake Campground State Park, Oregon State Park. So uh, it was uh, pretty hilly today. We did take the um, suggested ACA route and that, that actually panned out pretty good. It was a little bit longer, wasn't quite as steep and had like three cars for 12 miles or something, very nice. Anyhow, uh, I got a Subway sandwich for dinner. We're gonna hang out here with the other hiker biker occupants. And uh, I had quite a long day of walking around as well. When we got here, I took about a four mile walk and uh, pretty tired right now. So not sure if you're gonna see any more of me till tomorrow. We survived our night at the Devil's Lake Campground. We did not meet the man himself. I don't know, maybe Billy did, but I didn't. And we're off today to Newport. Fairly short day, dare I say such words. Approximately 27 miles. Just taking a quick break here at Boiler Bay, which looks really nice. Beautiful morning on the coast. And we only got about maybe 10 miles, 12 miles to get to Newport. But there is a big hill between here and there. There they go. I'm all on my own now. 